Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, uh, I mean we are actually just near to the closing of this playlist and we can do lots of features, lots of services, lots of microservices and all but there is no end of it. I just wanted to showcase you the concept of the microservices and how you can build a full stack clone application using these nastiest microservices, Next.js, Next.auth, all sort of technologies. The remaining part we have is not just only the deploying, deploying these stuff okay so let's let's get started so in the last video we created this event which is sending the data to the from the order service to the delivery service once the payment is successful so in the in the we have already tried the whole strife flow and this is the payload we are getting this is the order id and the order payload which contains the address which contains the restaurant id restaurant object or the user id who is has who has submitted the order so now you got the the event which says is this or uh, this particular user has placed an order and when in the event driven architecture or event driven microservices these events are more common you send the event there is a listener which is which doesn't know anything about the sender knows only about the event when this event occurs or comes from any of the microservice world in the event driven architecture this is what i'm going to do so this order delivery pro order process success that means order has been processed and now we need to assign the delivery partner for it where the order id is this order payload is this restaurant id is this restaurant is this user id is this selected address is this the whole summary i'm sending because what we want is we want a decoupled as microservice architecture where you are you are not even sharing the database i mean i don't know anything about the user table or the address table or or anything about the order table or the payment table i got this event which is coming from the reliable source because nobody randomly listening for these events there is a session and all these things we are checking so this event and this happens in the private network right not in the open open to the world where anybody can send an event to this particular queue so you got this order payload now you just need to react to that and how we are going to react we have the order placed now we need to assign the delivery partner for this order so we need to check in the users so either i need to somehow get the information about how we are going to get the delivery partner available delivery partner in that area once that is there you can assign you can create a asynchronous uh, websocket communication between delivery partner and the logged in user session you can create a websocket channel and can start ping pong okay like okay the food uh, a partner assigned a food partner has ceased to the restaurant uh, our, our order has been picked up and then once the delivery partner is on run you can send the coordinates to the the user who is tracking the tracking the the delivery partner where he is right now and that's all happening through the web socket because there is a channel has been created between the delivery partner and the logged in user session and he keeps sending these web socket messages to the end user to the, the logged in user and because you are logged in so you will keep receiving them either on the mobile device or on the web web uh, laptop i mean on the browser and you still getting all these uh, web socket updates delivery so there is a delivery service that is getting the event right now so we need to first of all create the delivery record okay this is the order this is the order id and delivery needs to happen for this order so we need to find a delivery partner for this that is important part so this is just like an entity we have partner assigned true false delivery partner id delivery partner payload and this is a delivery service which is going to choose this uh, registered del delivery partner assigned task so we have got the order order id and now we need to assign the delivery partner so rest of the things which we are going to do is same we can inject this entity repository and we can create a record because this is the first thing you will do delivery partner may not be assigned just right away because it's a synchronous task again maybe delivery partner is not available in your region you will keep running a scheduler first you will create the record in this table delivery partner id and order id and then you will run a scheduler in this service which will start looking for the delivery partner in that area maybe that's not available right away it after some time we just need to assign the delivery partner and create a websocket channel right so currently we are just injecting the repository the type rm repository and create a record once the event is arrived in this service so here i started getting some strange error repository okay this service we need to add in the module so that uh, 
your module knows that this service has been created and added in the providers so i can inject uh, stuff inside that type rm module.4 feature we already have we have only one entity so db module.4 root type rm module.4 feature so that i can start playing with this entity delivery partner service and here i can uh, i can get the data from the event incoming event and i can create a delivery task that is simple so inside a delivery service first of all this is the delivery controller and i can call i can inject the service inside a controller and this controller will send the payload to the service who is going to register this uh, delivery assignment delivery partner assignment task okay so here uh, service this dot service dot register delivery part assignment task so we are just creating a record that's that's the only thing we are doing here because we may not get the delivery partner right away we may need to call the user service to get the delivery partner on the fly okay that's what we will do here we will just save and what the, what we are saving for saving we have only data order id order delivery task assigned false that is a by default false we just have order id and order payload right and we have a delivery partner assigned which is a false by default so if you specify it or not that's fine we can just make it false so once you register it this is what we will get and so this is the new table we got the whole payload the a partner assigned false now the next thing we are going to build a scheduler what this scheduler is we can use the nest js scheduler which is a cron which will read this table and will identify that what all orders need a delivery uh, to be assigned right currently you don't get the delivery partner on the fly you may need to start looking for it in the loop until unless the delivery partner is not assigned for that delivery for that order id which you have received so runs every 10 second is more than enough we can use an SGS schedule module which is going to run this cron job in every 10 seconds and will look for the delivery partner so now we can look for the delivery partner from the user service this is going to be tricky now if you look into this, this design how you can design this kind of stuff in the microservice world these should be decoupled and i wanted to get the delivery partner assigned so either uh, you can have a redis intermediate uh, mode of uh, store where you can keep all the the pool of delivery partner in your area based on the area key or something and then you can fetch it from there right otherwise you need to choose some technology where you can make either a synchronous call to the user service or make a send an action which can uh, give you the the data back but it should be synchronous not a fire and forget because it's not an event i am looking for some data from some service so it can be a internal http call you can establish between the user service or whenever there is a delivery partner is getting released they can put the, their data in the redis and this service the delivery service can read the data from the redis so i'm going to try with redis and see how it goes in the next video hi everyone and welcome back so uh, we are covering most of the things and i think these are like a couple of uh, last videos which i wanted to talk about in the uber eats clone there is no limit of uh, what we are covering but my objective i am already fulfilling uh, which talks about the order payment and tracking on all those things we can you can in enhance these features which we have already designed so currently we have lots of microservices there is a communication happening and now we recently we are doing a rabbit mq event based communication between services now the rest part is you can also talk about the deploying these services and creating couple of more services notification service uh, delivery services or a websocket service we can create for the websocket communication between the delivery partner and a user so in this video let's talk about this particular video what we are doing i'm trying to find a way so that i can fetch i can get the list of a delivery partners which are available for the order i will try to zoom in so i have already registered a schedule module nest yes schedule that can uh, track the schedule of a particular job so I, we can have a task service where, where you can just register a cron but here we are looking for uh, rerunning this task in every 10 seconds until unless the delivery is not assigned to this particular order so here we can just do a cron expression also which will look for let's say cron expression dot uh, 10 seconds i mean it, it, you don't need to provide the whole cron expression so what is this 
I, I may have already discussed about this in my next year's advanced uh, videos but this is just a way when you want to run a particular task um, in the background asynchronously okay like a cron and that is possible when you are running the nest js on a server not as a lambda so it will it will just trigger this expression based on like if every five minute every 10 minute it's like a cron job in the node js there is a node cron module is there which also does the same thing so here we are saying is every 10 seconds i want to do something handle cron and every 10 seconds i can write some custom logic uh, which can which can look inside the redis for the available of uh, delivery partner so i first try to give it a try to the nest.js uh, cache module cache manager so there are two type of caching which nest.js provides uh, cache module cache manager so here we can use a cache module cache module works in two different ways either you can provide a cache store like external cache store using redis or some other mechanism or you can use the internal in-memory cache so here is here we are doing the same thing cache module dot register async and we are trying to see if we can accommodate redis but there are lots of catch in this and i struggled a lot because there is a still uh, compatibility issues in the typescript types for this uh, uh, nest js sorry nest js cache manager and this the redis module which is providing us the redis store I tried to look around to fix this but I finally failed in doing it and then I skipped uh, using the redis I will explain what it is so there are two modules redis for the redis store there is a cache manager redis yet or there is a node.js cache manager which is giving you the redis store and this cache manager cache module which is provided by nest.js is looking for the redis store which you can pass from these modules and the typings needs to be compatible what the redis store they are providing and what nest.js is expecting so here you will just provide a host what is the host and port host is the local host port is 5637 that is the redis port and host we can just spin up a container to get this running so first of all we got a cache manager nest.js cache module and the cache manager redis here these are the, the different uh, node.js uh, packages we npm packages we have installed there is a typing error already you can see it is expecting a store ready store options and uh, we are providing something else so i try to make it in a different look await ready store no no this won't work so i try to downgrade this cache manager to 1.0.0 somewhat it works even the typings but i think that's a typescript uh, reload once i reload the typescript typings it stopped working so Cache manager works in two different ways. You can use in memory and can cache the controller response and send the response from the internal memory again. Or you can provide external store, ready store, which can do the same thing. It, it will create a key value pair and will store the uh, data until the TTL expires, right? So this is cache module dot register, register async. And here this TypeScript errors came back, which we don't have any way to fix because Currently we are using nest.js 9.0.0 and uh, we also worked with the, both the packages this uh, nest.js redis shared 1.x and 2.x and both didn't work I even need to clean up my node modules and dependencies and finally when I check incompatible nest.js cache store I didn't find any fix for it so finally I thought like okay let's drop the redis Maybe if I write a simple express app, that's really easy to connect to the Redis. There is a Redis IO module, which helps you to connect to the Redis and store key value pair. I tried this another module, which you can use cache manager Redis store, which gives you the Redis store. And here, I mean, you can give it a try, but it didn't work. So here, instead of getting it from the, uh, getting it from the another module, you can use this cache manager Redis store. That will give you the Redis store. You just need to pass the URL and TTL okay it's the same thing cache module dot register async where you are going to register a ready store externally i mean you are not using in memory store and it may work or may not now i also populated these redis configurations in the config package nest uh, like our internal config package here i'm providing the host and port so that i can use this thing 
while doing the cache module dot register sync right uh, here i'm doing cache module dot register sync and then i'm starting the application so here i can get the redis newly added attribute in the config service redis store host port and this is the config so i can start application so what my thinking is uh, because i was getting a different error but this error is nothing to do with redis so might be this solution will work i will also check it I check it again i was started getting some dependency issues which i messed up with but this is how you can actually write cache module dot register sync and i override the typings store config right at the line 27 i'm just specifying that as a store config and this typings worked for me i'm just injecting a config module getting this redis configurations and passing the host and port uh, so this is like a redis so i'm just giving you two solutions either we make the direct http call to the user service get the available delivery partner or we use a redis uh we start picking things from the redis okay give me the available partner uh, there is there can be a key in the redis which gives you the available partner in your region and once the partner is free after delivery they can just say okay i'm available so we'll just put the key in the redis and then then you can get the the key and the value from the redis and assign the delivery partner maybe this solution work i started getting this another error which i need to fix uh, and i take it took me lots of effort and the issue was what happens is when uh, when you are uh, allowing your dependency to be upgraded by default so when you say we are using nestjs cli 9.0.0 and due to some dependency this internal version got upgraded to 9.3.4 and from there uh, we started getting this issue this is fixed in 9.0.3 yeah this is a special error this error due to which i dropped redis this is the circular dependency error in the nestjs cache module with the redis and that is available in the 9.0.0 and we are using that so i need to upgrade it to 9.0.2 okay or 9.3.4 and when i upgraded that i started getting any lots of weird error with the type 4 and all because there is inconsistency arise because we are using pnpm workspace and there is a root package there is a root linking and uh, some packages some code dependencies were pointing to 9.0.0 some were pointing to 9.3.4 so next just common module and core module were breaking so what i thought is let's drop this using this redis at all the circular dependency i cannot fix without upgrading this uh, dependency of nest js to 9.0.2 which i didn't decide uh, let's uh, skip this so what is the next thing uh, we are doing so first of all i remove these uh, upper arrow and i try to baseline nest js common and core to the fixed version which is 9.0.0 remove the node modules uh, pnpm log file yml file did npm install sorry a pnpm install at the root and it is populating node modules everywhere i got my all services back up and running and i even pushed that in the, the latest branch so i have fixed the core and common okay do not upgrade this when somebody is pro uh, provoking you keep it only 9.0.0 so that at least my other services will keep running and this is my delivery services typescript uh, dependencies will refresh but what i decided to do is in this cron which we have register assign task i created a record and then i registered this cron what i will do is read all the records from this uh, delivery entity where partner assigned is false that means no partner has been assigned and for those orders we need to assign a delivery partner so either i can fetch the delivery partner by making an http call to the user service right so we can have maybe an additional attribute in the user entity which can give you okay list view uh, delivery partner or updated delivery partner status okay so call the user service to get a delivery partner so read a record from the the table delivery table where the partner has not been assigned run inside a loop and inside a loop call the service http call to the user service get the delivery partner assign it and mark the delivery partner consumed true in the user service so no second 
delivery partner second assignment should not pick the same delivery partner so this kind of a logic we are going to write in the user proxy service so it's a user proxy service which is going to make an internal call to the user service so it's just like a, some wrapper i have created either you can use the internal http client service provided by the nestjs or write your own service using axios so we axios is used to make an http call right so it's just like a simple axios service axios wrapped on the http client service and we can call this send method to trigger the action so it's like a simple service i have created http client service i have registered and then i'm going to i'm going a little bit fast here because there is no much rocket science we are doing here no some uh, important concept it's all about uh, making uh, doing an http call to the user service and fetching a delivery partner payload so it will uh, it will have a user id delivery partner id mobile number and his credentials maybe his ratings overall ratings and uh, his profile picture some attributes about the delivery partner which we need for the assignment so here we will just also pass uh, the config service because uh, we need to have the url of a user microservice right so that the delivery partner service can make a call and can get the delivery partner payload so that thing we will just populate here get we need to build so whenever you do the some changes in the config package first build that and there is a dependency already there in the delivery service just build that once it on on the build it will fetch the latest package it, it will fetch the latest build from the config package and give you what you need the latest addition you have done and here we can just make a api call fetch an available delivery partner so it's like http client service dot uh, send and here we need to pass the whole payload it's like axios payload which is sending okay what is the base url what is the method what is the data you are sending this whole uh, stuff you can send to this request so available partner is the url base url is the user service method is get and i'm not sending any data so now the another thing is we are going to do is inside a delivery service is user proxy service we will inject and we can just call this service to get the available partner so we in, in, the th idea is we should get only single partner at a time one uh, recent available partner to assign it update the partner status to be consumed so that no next order should pick that same partner again so we are making a direct call and now i came to the delivery service and here okay i think everything is correct i just inject the user proxy service and http client service there and here i'm getting the all the partners and here i will also get all the available orders where the partner has not been assigned so to, 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 i don't i cannot build it from here because there is a dependency which is available at the root so i can build it using this nx console delivery build so it will just build all the dependent module first build is fine and now we can start dev yeah it has uh, now you can just create unassigned orders and you can just do a find one inside this particular service okay give me all the orders where partner assigned is false and then i will just loop on to the order and order order which are not assigned to the partners i will get one by one and in this inside this i'm going to make a call to the http service because first get the unassigned delivery task make the api call to the user service get the partner assign the partner and done and once it is done update the 